Hey now, today we're breaking down the top 10 most overpowered wrestling video game characters. We're talking Isaac Frost in Fight Night Champion level dominance. The kind of OP that will have you questioning if you want to continue playing the game. Of course, the all-time overpowered Hall of Famer is Oddjob in Goldeneye but this list of wrestlers will even give him a run for his money. It doesn't matter if you hit multiple finishers, they'll just bounce back like Michael Myers. For this video, we won't rank the wrestlers in order, but comment below on who tops your OP ranks. And one thing we can all agree on, if you had a friend that picked one of these characters in a one-on-one, -on -one, he was a cheating son of a Now with that out of the way, let's get this show on the road. Starting with number one, Brock Lesnar in Here Comes the Pain. Brock made his television debut the night after WrestleMania 18 and was headlining the granddaddy of them all by the next year against Kurt Angle. So it goes without saying, he had one of if not the most dominant first years in wrestling history. Nevertheless, beating Brock in this game is akin to besting Joey Chestnut in a hot dog eating contest. He could absorb a barrage of moves before even a limb reached yellow damage. What made it even more daunting was that Brock could put you in rough shape with just a couple of his power moves, making matches incredibly lopsided. Brock's reign of terror on WWE video games would soon take a break as he was next seen out of the wrestling ring and on the football field in Madden 2006. Next up is number two, with The Undertaker in WWE 2K14. This game introduced the Defeat the Streak mode, tasking gamers with a seemingly impossible challenge, beating The Undertaker at WrestleMania. In this game mode, Taker was full final boss level agitating. He had more magic tricks than David Blaine that he could pull off at any moment mid-match. Right when you thought you had the game wrapped up by hitting your finisher, The Undertaker would turn the lights off faster than an old man saving money on the electricity bill. Taker was able to withstand endless finishers and surprise you with his Hell's Gate out of nowhere. As maddening as it was at times, this game mode did successfully capture the drama of Undertaker's real WrestleMania matches and made for a glorious moment when you finally defeated the dead man. At number three, we're venturing outside of the WWE with Ned Flanders in Simpsons Wrestling. If you had to guess who the top contender would be in a Simpsons wrestling game, you might say Dredderick Tatum, or of course Bret the Hitman Hart. This place got old man stink. But shockingly, it was the mild-mannered Ned. When talking about overpowered characters, Ned has to be near the top of the list due to his special ability that fully recovers his health. After he was pinned, his lightning strike attack caused heavy damage. And for a Christian man, he certainly did throw a lot of Bibles. You better run before I go all Old Testament on you. At number four, Hulk Hogan in SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. This edition of WWE games included three eras of Hulk Hogan, or as I like to call it, the three faces of Terry. You had your choice of the Hulkster from the 1980s, 1990s, and the 2000s. The hardest to beat, of course, being the 1980s when he dominated the wrestling industry. Hulk Hogan topped the ranks with a rating of 96 ahead of active wrestlers Kurt Angle and Triple H that were tied for second highest at 95. In this game, Hulk Hogan could hit you with a It just doesn't work for me, brother! and beat you faster than Yokozuna. In the game's defense, he was a master politician that never lost in real life. So the game has a pretty fair representation. He's looking to press a pawn away here, Cole! And that could do it! At number five, we have the Muhammad Ali-inspired character from WCW World Tour, Joe Bruiser. Joe couldn't grapple, but he more than overcompensated with his knockout power. He could pummel an opponent with relentless speed. And even if they managed to take him down, he'd bounce back like Tyson Fury in round 12. While Ali didn't fare too well in his wrestling debut against Antonio Inoki, Joe Bruiser emerged as one of the most overpowered figures in wrestling game history. At number six, we crossed the line to Kurt Angle in TNA Wrestling. After debuting in TNA, it wasn't long before Kurt held every championship. His in-game persona was equally unstoppable. His signature move, the Angle Slam, was basically the easy win button. Where this game did have some annoying gameplay at times. If you selected Kurt Angle, you essentially were on God Mode with the Gold Medalist. 
Number 7, it's time to play the game with Triple H in No Mercy. The King of Kings was so good in this game, you'd swear he married the boss's daughter. Infamously, when advertising future wrestling games, the WWE banned images that showed Triple H in a defenseless or vulnerable position. But they didn't need to in No Mercy because he was unstoppable. In this game, he could reverse your every move and ruin your day. Players who selected him reveled in the sheer dominance and often left their opponents throwing their controller. At number 8, in SmackDown vs. Raw 2007, the Great Khali was nothing short of infuriating. In this game, he was placed in a weight class entirely on his own at Ultra Heavyweight. That gave him the advantage over the whole roster, including the biggest heavyweights WWE had to offer. To add insult to injury, one of the challenges in this game was to beat Cully with Mickey James. I repeat, Mickey James. Whoever came up with that challenge has a special place in hell. You might as well call the match right now. Who's next at number 9, you ask? Goldberg in WCW vs. NWO Revenge. Unless you were booking the show like Kevin Nash, beating Goldberg was akin to taking on an unstoppable force. His in-game attributes reflected his real-life dominance, boasting incredible strength, speed, and durability. Between the spear and the jackhammer, Goldberg's moveset gave him a hell of a advantage. What made him even more overpowered was it seemed like he could shrug off the most punishing moves with ease. If a friend selected Goldberg, you knew you were in for a tough match. Lastly, at number 1 we have the head of the table, Roman Reigns in WWE 2K23. Since 2020, Roman Reigns has embarked on one of the most impressive runs in WWE history. To help recreate his dominance, 2K has given him a 99 rating, which is the largest for a standard wrestler in the series history. Just like on WWE television, if you want a chance at beating Roman in this game, you're gonna need The Rock to take a break from Hollywood. In conclusion, these overpowered wrestlers have left their mark on the gaming world forever by annoying and stressing all of us out beyond repair. As Trent Gibson's artificially intelligent intern, thank you for watching this video. And remember, if you ever pick one of these characters yourself, you are a rat piece of sh and your friends will never trust you again. Oh, what a super kick! What in the hell do I have to do to keep this man down?